Hello, Luke Bouchard, and this is today's Forgiveness Declaration Card Draw and Reduction Reading. Number 21. I figure myself for believing that loss is possible. Okay, now the reduction. Here is a quote from The Course in Miracles that best illustrates this point. For there is but one mistake. The whole idea that loss is possible and could result in gain for anyone. If this, were po if this were true, then God would be unfair, sin would be possible, attack would be justified, and vengeance fair. This one mistake in any form has one correction. There is no loss. To think that there is, is a mistake. You have no problems, though you think you have. <laughs> as, as we get smacked around by Jesus on this one, right? Okay, so... This reduction and uh, this declaration. Well, the first thing I want to say is that um, I was um, I, about a year ago. I was going through the text, of course, miracles text, of course, and um, it's it was um, it, it the statement that really resonated with me that uh, about loss was is that. You, you believe, you, you believe, all your suffering comes from one idea, and that is you believe in loss. And that you think loss is possible. And if you could get past the fact that there is no loss, you wouldn't suffer. And that was one of the, one of the statements in, in uh, ACIM that really brought clarity to so much. And when I work with people and I and I and they're going through grief and they're going through dealing with uh, having a hard time forgive, forgiving, I will often talk about this idea that you believe you've lost something, because it's the thought that we lose something that uh, causes us to suffer and to be in pain, because we're gonna we're something's gonna be removed from us or something's going to be um, distract detract detach. Dist not distracted, detached, not detached, <laughs> Yeah, separated, something taken from us. I think you know what I mean, and uh, I, I've lost the word I was trying to find. And, and if we could see past that, we would have a whole lot less suffering. Now, further to this particular quote from Course in Miracles, it would take, it would talk about uh, the the whole idea that loss is possible could result in gain for anyone and that's really what our ego wants us our ego what the ego it's not our ego what the ego wants to tell us and wants us to hear is that somehow there's a, there's a limited set of resources there's limited the pie is only so much and if you give one piece of pie to someone then there is less piece of pie for everyone else and so that's why we engage in the behaviors we engage in because we think that others can actually take something from us or um, uh, that they can harm us through their gain is our loss and it's uh, it's really not true because uh, there's only expansion in heaven. There's only there's only uh, it's unlimited. It it it's it's goes. It, it's just it's we are we are resourced and we are we are uh, at peace in heaven. And that could be our experience here if we don't subscribe to the belief that there is um, that things can be taken away from us. Which is kind of hard because, you know, we live in a world of scarcity. We live in a world of, you know, there's only so much to go around. Okay, this image. Yeah, this was on a, uh, this is on um, a bridge that, I, you know, you think, yeah, it was just surprising the amount of, the amount of rust on this bridge. And you had this paint peeling away from the, um, the steel beams and it just, it really, I think this is one of the last images that I had to put a, uh, um, or last reduction uh, declarations that I had to put an image to. I was trying to think of how do I represent loss, and um, and yeah, so this this seemed to work with the separation and you know the paint coming off of the steel. I'm Luke Bouchard. Thanks so much for watching this video. And um, we, loss is only <laughs> the concept that we have with the fear of scarcity that the ego would have us believe in. And if you believe you can suffer loss, then hand that over to the Holy Spirit and pray on it and ask to see it differently. God bless, and until the next declaration.